So here we have the Fiat 500 on a 21 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a three-door car of course. We're going to start off inside the boot first of all. As we approach the back of the car you'll see we have reversing sensors and given the size of the vehicle plenty of boot space along with that 50-50 split folding rear seat as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. You can see we have the rev counter, the digital readout for the speedometer as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo and phone controls on both sides. And the main stereo is over in the center. It's touch screen. So up on here at the moment, we have the satellite navigation. We've done a video showing how the sat nav works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel. Uh, you've got your radio, of course. AM, FM and DAB, as you can see. If you want to listen to your own music, press the media button. Nothing is connected up at the moment. You can connect up uh, USB devices. There's two inputs for USB. Um, but there's other ways to listen to your music as well, including Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly as well as making and receiving phone calls once you paired your phone, that is. And while we're on the subject of phone, if you connect your smartphone up via its USB, we have Uconnect, which will allow you to connect up certain Fiat-friendly apps uh, that can then be displayed up on this screen. Below that, we have our city power steering to make the power steering lighter, our hazard warning lights, front and rear fog lights, and then climate control. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed up and down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. The air conditioning's on at the minute, so that's off, back on, or hit auto. The car will now maintain this temperature by taking control of the fan speed, which you can hear and see it doing, and the direction of the air as well. Any manual adjustment will override that and allow you to put it back on your own settings. We can turn off our traction control, our stop and start. We have our rear heated screen here as well. Passenger and driver electric windows. The uh, six speed manual gearbox and down the bottom here we have two cup holders two usb inputs and a 12 volt charging socket as well last thing i wanted to mention is the glass roof we have a sun blind that will open up manually uh, the glass itself is fixed in place but as you can see that lets in an extra uh, amount of light to the cabin space makes it feel particularly airy all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.